What up, Budasheski? Welcome back. And in this video, I want to show you how to set up and configure a firewall for your server. Now, I know a lot of people have heard the term firewall before, but they aren't really sure what it is. They just know, eh, okay, I probably need a firewall on my computer because it protects me from something, somehow, whatever. Well, I'll explain real quick what it is. A firewall gives you control over the connections to your server. So what you can do is you can say, okay, I have this server right here and I'm making a chat room for me and my grandma. So what you can do is you can get your IP address and your grandma's IP address and set up your firewall to only allow connections from those two IP addresses. Anytime anyone else, any other traffic tries to connect to it, it's going to be blocked. So it pretty much, like I said, gives you complete control over who and how people connect to your server. Now, since we're going to be using this server for a website, we really don't know every single person's IP address that's going to try to connect to it. So instead of filtering it by IP addresses, we're going to be filtering it by ports or services. So we already know one we're going to have for SSH and that's 7777. So let's do that right now. So sudo, since we need to run a root command and Ubuntu comes with a tool called UFW and this is a tool to manage firewall settings so if you write UFW allow what we can do is we can allow a certain port so 7777 and remember this is just the default SSH port so we can actually log into our own server and after this you write slash TCP now I actually don't even remember if I talked to you guys about TCP but this is a broad protocol that you use when connecting to things over the internet. So port number slash TCP, that's one that we want to allow and type in your password and all right. What's another one we want to allow? Well, sudo, actually here's another cool trick. If you press up in the terminal, it's going to get the last command you typed. So we want to allow these ports so it might be a little bit faster. So regular HTTP is just port 80. So if you have any website, you always want to allow port 80. And another one is if you buy a certificate and you get HTTPS, then that's port 443. So whenever you're just browsing the internet through a secure connection, through a browser, 443, and there you go. Now, we might allow some other ones later on, but for right now, these are the ones that I know that we're going to need. So again, we can edit it later, but for right now, these are fine. If we ever want to review the changes, then just do sudo ufw show added. And it's going to say, okay, right now you have 777, 80, and 443 set up. This first one's for us, and the next two are for the visitors to our website. Hopefully we get a lot because we have a really popular website, but who knows. Now. Now that we have the settings set up, we just need to enable the firewall. One more command, sudo ufw enable and hit enter. Command made us up connections. Are we okay with that? Heck yeah, we are. Why? Firewall is active and enabled on system startup. So as soon as we start the server, we now got a firewall nice and safe. Now, since I have a little bit of time and this tutorial is pretty short, I'll show you guys one other thing. And that is you may want to change your server's time. And to do this, you sudo dpkg and reconfigure, and it's TZ, which stands for time zone data. And there is a freaking dog barking. All right. All right. I don't know if you guys hear that, but I'm going to go drop kick that dog in like two seconds. Not really. Okay, not really. But you know, I picture it in, in my head. All right. So America looks good. New York looks good. Of course, you can change what other ones you want. But I'm in New York, so there you go. So let's check it out. Local time now is Saturday, June 6, 2030-19. And yes, it is 8.30, so there you go. And uh, yeah, we set up a firewall. And also, we set up the correct time zone for our server. And in the next video, we're going to start installing LAMP. Apache MySQL PHP so it's gonna be pretty cool I'll see you then